Hello, this is David Benign from Excel Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you Microsoft Forms. If you're familiar with Google Forms, then Microsoft kind of copied the idea <laughs> and how it looks and how it works. So you create your form, and I'll show you how to do that later on, but it gives you the analysis automatically. So it averages out um, rating questions. It gives you text responses like this. And in some cases, it'll give you a chart if the sort of uh, selection options. If you click more details, you can see it showing you the, all the responses. And if you want everything, you can just go to scroll up and click view results. You can see it one by one, how long it took them to complete, or the back button, and then you have open in Excel. And this can download the file that you can look at and provide further analysis. It does really clever analysis. For example, if you have multi-select options, it can categorize those, and those can be really hard to do. Um, if you use ideas here, this can be pretty good as well. So this is using artificial intelligence to give you ideas. So 64% of people answered perfect, and 86% of those said high rating in question two. So it will compare those. There's, a f there's another thought as well that's related. All right, so um, when it comes to responses, you can also, if you want to delete the responses, print or send a summary link. Google doesn't do this one actually, but if you click this and copy, then anyone on a mobile device or on their computers without access to it can get sort of a summary like this. They can't click the more details tabs, but they can click and see the summary responses there. All right, so how do you do it? Uh, there's two ways to start a form. You can either go to forms here and click new form. Uh, I'm not gonna do new, new quiz because it's more or less the same, but allows you to write yes or no answers. So if you do this, you can write the name of your form, uh, description, and then as you go, you can add new. Now, um, the thing about this and why it's different to the other method is that your Excel link, kind of like in the one we saw here, your Excel link is a one-off Excel link. So this is not based on the cloud. And therefore, every time someone submits something new, you have to download the form. The alternative is to go to the Excel online and sign in and click forms and then new form. And off the back in responses, the difference is this is cloud-based. So that means that all the forms responses will come out live here as they are responded to. So, you know, I can create some questions. Uh, here's a choice question. Uh, let's say, what Excel feature do you like? And then here you can write some options. Uh, pivot tables, uh, data validation, etc. If you want, you can click multiple answers like that. Let's add other if you want to do it there. And make it required. I normally do that there. You can also add a subtitle. So, uh, explain what you like best. Then from that, you can click sort of add new. And let's add a text question. That's just going to say name. Now the subtitle and required are automated for each one. So say here, family name first, please. Uh, let's add another text question. Make it a long answer and say, what do you use Excel for? And another text question. And in this one, I can click these three dots and go to restrictions. I'm going to say this is a number between 18 and 80. So here I'm going to write, well, age. If 
you don't want to see the subtitle, I can just untick it there, and then it won't show up again. I can move my questions. I can copy my questions. So if I want age, I want to copy that. So I can click on the copy button. Now I have two that say age. So age of partner, for example. And then here I can go add new rating. So rating will give you results like do do this. It will average them, whereas choice questions will give you results like this. Or sometimes a bar chart if it's multi-select as well. Um, you can change the levels, change it to star or number, but the output is the same. So uh, you also have, this is quite cool, Google doesn't do this one. Well, dates, it's not that common. Ranking question, I like this one. So what this allows you to do is, here it is. So you can say, uh, rank these in importance, uh, analysis or um, design or visualization. And we'll have a look at how these look in a bit when we do them there. What are the types have we got? We've got, well, data is pretty self-explanatory. Like it, I don't really use this very much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bin a couple of these. You can just have a thing, so you can say, uh, how comfortable are you with new tools? And you get this, add all. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I don't like the somewhat, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Just three levels there, statements. Uh, pivots, tables. This is for people who have just done a course, by the way. <laughs> um, table, feature, enter, the lookup, and just keep going there. Let's add some new ones. Yeah, net promoter score, it's a lot like rating. <laughs> it comes up with this, how likely are you recommended to a friend, but you can ask anything here. Um, and here you can say minimum and maximum. I don't know why they have this as a separate category, to be honest. Uh, you just have subtitle there. And to do, 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 do section. So section is if you want to have a different section to your questions. Uh, it sometimes gives you these ideas. So if you ask this, it will give you what is the primary reason for your score? You can add questions uh, and then it shows it to you like that. You can, add, you can also do branching. So here I can say, um, Here I can say, uh, do you use analysis tools? I'm gonna go add all, but I don't need maybe, so I'm gonna bin that, add new. And then here I'm going to say, which analysis tools do you use? Uh, pivots, charts, um, what else? Uh, some ifs, slices, um, timelines, spark lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three dots and choose branching. And then I'm just going to go to the last question because that's the only one where there's branching. Do you use analysis tools? If they say yes, go to the next one. If they say no, go to the end of the form or you can specify which question you want them to go to as well. Press back, and that means that if they don't use analysis tools, they're not gonna get this question, which is pretty uh, obvious there. So other things here in settings, you can look at who can respond. Is it anyone with a link or only people in your organization? 
record name doesn't really do anything if it's outside the organization. So that is grayed out. Neither is one responses per person. Options for responses. Are you accepting a yes or no? You can customize a message to get later on. You can get email notified. That's quite nice. Multilingual. This is really, really new, actually. You can say that there's an additional language that is, for example, French, like this. And then you can edit it. So you can say for each one what it means. So this one, what Excel feature do you like? Quel shows on Excel to um, the plus. And then every time you have an option, uh, tableau quasi anterior. They have really weird names. I'm not even sure if that's it. Uh, je ne sais pas comment dire ça. Great. So those are the options there. Then back can undo it. And now we're into, well, theming. So you can click a theme you like, like this theme, or upload your own custom one and share. This is really important. So you can decide whether to collect from anyone with a link or only people in your organization. And then when you're done, you can copy this link or you can get other ways like embed code, a QR code, uh, people can scan this in their mobiles. You can download it and put it in a PowerPoint or something that's email direct. Share as a template if someone wants to duplicate it and make a new one. Or share to collaborate. So here you can only choose to collaborate with people inside your organization or users with an Office 365 worker school account. And then copy people will be able to edit that one. As I said, the responses will come through to the other one, to the Excel sheet. And let me share this. We'll get the link, copy it. And I'm going to go to just a private browser and paste that. Right, I probably want to change this. So here I can change the language. Français. We'll say what's obligatoire. And this is the only one I translated. So that's what's showing. I'll just answer it in English. So that one, you can see that it is telling me if I've got the wrong type, what the data validation is. Then write a question here. <laughs> this is the ranking one. So you can just drag and drop them super easy like that. We'll use these buttons as well. How comfortable are you with my tools? This was a Likert question. Let's answer like that. Name, uh, David Benign. What do you use Excel for? That's a long answer, so there's more space to write. Ask anything. This was the net promoter score one. And then this is the one that it suggested. What's the primary reason? I liked it, but could have been more informative. Use analysis tools. So what's this? If I click no, I get submit. If I click yes, it opens up this new question. Remember, this was the branching one. No, it doesn't do anything. Yes, it opens up that. You could even have branching to two ways. So this could open up one thing. This could open up another one. I wouldn't go too sophisticated with the branching because um, it can get a bit chaotic. But yeah. Which analysis tools do you use? Now, I probably wanted to make this multi-select. <laughs> um, notice that if I go back to my form, I can actually edit it, and it will edit live. So Excel feedback. And let's make this multi-select, multiple answers. There we go. And if I go back here, Doesn't update live, but if I click submit, uh, I can click submit another response. And 
This one is still showing me the old style, but it does save live, so Excel feedback is now updated here. So yeah, let's just submit another response. Notice the star is required. Yes, this is multi-select, submit. One question, question three needs answering. The age of my partner, also the same age. Submit, now let's go to how it looks at the offset. I've got two responses here. Both responded the same there. This was their average, all their age responses, their ranking one. So it shows you, it actually puts the analysis together and figures out how it is. This one was the net promoter score. No, sorry, this was the Likert one. So very comfortable, neither, and very uncomfortable. Um, this is the net promoter score. So it shows you a result like this. And multi-select will show you in column charts. That's sort of how it works. And notice that I have here open in Excel. So this will open the same link, but actually I can just click back this and it's opening it live and it's got all the answers like that. And if someone creates a new one, then I can, uh, if someone submits the form again, I can see the responses in this. Great. All right. Thank you for watching.